The Rock Run Gristmill at Susquehanna State Park was erected in 1798 by the notable and prosperous businessman and landowner, John Stump. It was a former merchant flour mill. During its most prosperous years, it ground flour for both the local and international markets. The three-story stone structure was partially restored in the 1960s. It features a working water wheel and an operational millstone. The Susquehanna River, named for the Susquehannock Indian tribe, is the Chesapeake Bay's main tributary river, stretching from upstate New York to Harbor de Grace. The Susquehanna's massive watershed provides nearly half of the bay's fresh water. Therefore, the river heavily influences the health of ecosystems in both the River Valley and in the Chesapeake Bay. Upriver from the mill is a little white frame building known as the Jersey Toll House. The Toll House once served a covered bridge that spanned the Susquehanna at this point from 1817 to 1857. It connected Rock Run with Port Deposit, directly across the river. On the hill which overlooks the mill stands, Carter Archer Mansion, a majestic 14-room stone structure built in 1804 by John Carter, a partner of John Stump in the Rock Run Mill. When Carter died a year later the house passed to the Stump's daughter Anne and her husband, Dr. John Archer Jr. One of the Archer's children was James J. Archer, a brigadier general in the Confederate Army. Several rooms are restored and furnished with period antiques. Associated with the mansion are a large stone barn and a stone spring house. The spring house water still runs clear and cold. Between the mill and the river runs a section of the former Susquehanna and Tidewater Canal. Opened in 1836, the canal linked Hover de Grace with Wrightsville, Pennsylvania. With mule-drawn barges plying its waters, the Susquehanna and Tidewater was a major commercial waterway. It closed in 1894. Two canal locks, one at Lapidum and the other at the mouth of Deer Creek, are located within the park. A temporary railroad line was laid on the towpath in the 1920s. Much of the old towpath is now a hiking trail. Upriver from the mill, there are several abandoned bridge piers from the toll house, are still visible in the river. At the lower end of the park is the community of Lapidum. This settlement traces its history to 1683 with the granting of land patents for the tracks Paradise, Elberton and Vincent's Castle as the surrounding land was transformed from wilderness to farmland. Lapidum grew in importance as a commercial center. Corn and tobacco grew along the river bank at Lapidum and a bustling fishing industry developed here.
This mill has a 18 inches wide and an 18 feet in diameter water wheel and weighs 24,000 pounds, but, it only takes 2 pounds of force to turn it, grinding grain using the French burr stones. This is it for the documentary, The Rock Run Grist Mill. For more information on the mill, go to maryland.gov, Department of Natural Resources. This video is sponsored by, Dale Tech Studios, Brighton, Michigan.